Fine, Mark Riley. Till nine o'clock, and I have, I wasn't even joking, been joined by Gong. Hello, guys. Hi. Hi. Hello. Welcome back. Thank you for having us. Cheers. It's Glad a real pleasure. Uh, and uh, Christopher Lee, who um, it was the uh, SM, the engineer, on the last session that yeah. you did, he's always remarkably unimpressed by everything. Yeah. At the end of your <laughs> session, he was like, that was amazing. Oh. <laughs> so we, there is actually oh. a discussion at the moment about a Blue Heritage plaque being put up, not to commemorate you, but to commemorate <laughs> the fact that it, you impressed him. Well, hopefully yeah. Celia will say the same thing. I'm sure she will. I'm sure she will. So, Carvis, would you mind introducing your bandmates, please? Not at all. Um, uh, on saxophone, we have Ian East. Oh. Hey, yo. Uh, on um, electric guitar, gliss guitar and vocals, Fabio Golfetti. Hey. Uh, on drums, mystery drummer, Cheb Nettles. <laughs> and Backy Vogels. And on space guitar, shiny space guitar and <laughs> BVs, uh, Dave Sturt and myself, Carvis Tarabi, on singing and big, white, expensive guitar. Absolutely, we'd have it no other way. So, uh, Gong, what's the first song you're going to do for us? It is from our new album, and um, it's a truncated version of a tune called My Sawtooth Wake. Fabulous, thank you.
That was mind blowing as always. Gong live in session. My Sawtooth Wake, which is an excerpt of a tune which is on the album, which is called The Universe Also Collapses, which is out on Friday. These tour dates, we're gonna have a chat and two more tunes in a short while. But just brilliant, thank you so much! Really, really great. Uh, but before then, we've got the return of Gong. Hello, fellas. Hello, hello. Hi. So, you're gonna do forever reoccurring for us now. You bet we are. Get to it. <laughs> Just 
Oh, that was so up my street. That was Gong live in session, forever reoccurring. And, um, okay, so the album is called The Universe Also Collapses. That's quite a heavyweight title. What's going on there, then? Um, well, it's the idea that um, the universe, the collapse of the inevitable collapse of the universe, and the birth of the universe, and everything in between, and everything that's ever happened, and everything that ever will happen, is happening all at once at this single moment. Just as we are having this conversation, and I'm looking at your beautiful face, the universe <laughs> is collapsing and being born at the same time. Well, that's cheered me up no end, mate. But uh, that, didn't Bross cover exactly that same subject on the last album? They did, uh, but a little bit more articulately. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit more sort of informed by science rather than just goofy ideas from... <laughs> My drongo brain. We need goofy ideas. That's definitely what we need. And so uh, we'll talk about the tour in a short while and the dates that you're doing. Are you going to be having like a slideshow or a, or a specific light show? Oh to yeah, go yeah, with yeah, this? yeah. We have. Uh, we've, we've been using fruit salad lights for, from the out. And he's been with Gong a long time. And it's uh, well, you've seen us before. It's uh, it's the same thing. Uh, you know, updated with the new album stuff. But yep, it'll be the usual overwhelming. Uh, you know, orgy of light and colour. Fabulous. Do you know, I was listening to the radio yesterday, it was uh, Five Live actually, and they were talking about the black hole, uh -huh. right, and does anybody understand all that? I don't understand it, but it, I love it, you know. I can, can you not understand? So it's like how I feel about David Lynch. I just totally into it, but I don't understand it. Yeah, you just need to know it's yeah. happening, but yeah, you don't yeah. need to know the whys and wherefores of yeah. it. But there was a woman in there, and she, and she tried to explain it, and me and Trace were just looking at each other like, no. And, uh, and she was very, very clever. And then she said, you know, of course, out in my back garden, I've got um, this, uh, I've laid out all of the galaxies. Oh. And, and I'm saying, yeah, haven't we all done that galaxy at some point in our lives? But <laughs> hey, well, I'll go you one further. Not only is there no such thing as time, there is no such thing as distance. It's all happening in the same place in the same moment. So that garden galaxy is mapped onto Galaxy Actuelle. Really? Right, I'm going to ring her up and tell Damn her. Right. She will be so disappointed. <laughs> I'll say, Carver says. <laughs> that, that's <laughs> authority on this thing. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get you in a room with Brian Cox. Yeah. That's what we need to For do. For an really. arm wrestle. For an arm <laughs> wrestle, yeah, probably. Definitely. Uh, so, he's, and he's quite hunky, isn't he? Yeah, I don't know. Is he? Yeah. I'd give him the stink eye. Oh, yeah, hey. Will there be a broken bottle on the either side of the, the arm, going down on the arm? Broken bottle of poppers. Yeah, oh, right, okay. Um, so, uh, some of the songs are very long on the album, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, that we one we just played is, again, with there being no such thing as time, that song's 20 minutes long. Well, that doesn't mean anything then, does no, it? No, no, no. So, if you go on stage, right, and you're doing this song, which is 20 minutes long, yeah. how do you all know when to stop if time doesn't exist? <laughs> Well, oh no. Well, we haven't played it live yet. Yeah, yeah, good point. I'll, good point. I'll, let you know after, I'll let you know after Brighton. I'll text you. I'll tell you what is a great thing. Do you know Angus McLeese, who was the original drummer in the Velvet Underground? Okay. He had no concept of time. <laughs> Uh, no, no, I'm not being that. That isn't a, that isn't a drummer joke. This is serious. <laughs> like what happened was that he didn't like to have rules set down for him. Yeah. Okay. And so if he turned up late for a gig and the band were already on. So they'd played for 15 minutes. He would right. get up and he would join in. And then when the band went off, he'd carry on for another 15 minutes <laughs> <I love laughs> just that. to make up the time, yeah. which is a concept that I love. So maybe he's coming... He's, putting in the, he's just putting in the hours, you know. Putting it. in a shift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good on him. Well, I salute him. Absolutely. He didn't last, though, did he? Oh, but there you go. Um, OK, Carlos, we were talking about this before, and it was something that crossed my mind earlier on, because when he came in and played for us before, just amazing, as mentioned. Um, and then the last album, it did have contributions. Obviously, David Allen had passed away, but it had contributions and, and, and some of his work within there. Yeah. And this record is the first one without. Yeah, 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 that's right, yeah. And in effect, so it's gone without any of the original members. Yeah, yeah. And so um, what's your thoughts on that? Because I know you've got some. Well, no, it, it was just that, you know, David had passed away. You know, we were playing with, uh, in a band with David. He passed away and we sort of, you know, it was going to be the first post-David album. And we, you know, it, it seemed very obvious. We've got to rejoice I'm dead. We we're going to make the album about David. And so we used some recordings we'd made of David on mm. the album. We used a song that we'd been working on, you know, he'd, he'd sort of written and we were going to do on the last album. We worked on that. And we had contributions from Steve Hiddich and Didier and what have you. But yeah, this one we just sort of felt like, okay, you know, if if this premise is to is to really hold water, we've got to make the album where we don't just say yes, but look, we've got the old guys on as well. It's like, yep, this is gone. This is how it's going to be, 
And, uh, you know, it's, it's just the five of us. And you've earned your stripes, haven't you? Well, I, I mean, that's the thing, you know, so there's absolutely no question about the authenticity of it. That's very kind, thank you. Oh, not at all. Just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Uh, and if you weren't doing it, that would be a terrible thing. So, there we go. Um, so, also, I've got some dates here, and we'll go through the uh, gong dates in a short while. But you're also uh, working as um, uh, Steve Hillage's backing band, aren't you? Well, we, we we're about to start doing that, yeah. We, we, we finished the tour, um, and then as soon as we did the last date of the tour... We're straight to London for 10 days, straight rehearsing with Steve and Maquette. And then we're going out doing um, a few shows with uh, as the Steve Hillage Band. In, like the old days in the 70s where the Steve Hillage Band was effectively gone, it's, it's happening again. And Brilliant. It's, and it's this gone, you know. Yeah, so. fabulous. The only flaw in the whole plot is the fact that you go and play in Manchester on the day that I go away. Yeah, we did that on purpose. <laughs> you could have, you could have rung me. So the uh, these are just the Steve Hillage dates, and we'll get to yours uh, next. But the yeah, the sixth of June, you play in the Junction in Cambridge. The seventh of June, you play the Ritz in Manchester, and the eighth of June, you play Shepherd's Bush Empire in London. Yep, right. brilliant. Okay, and so uh, for Gong, and like I say, uh, the album is called The Universe Also Collapses, and the tour dates uh, Thursday. It says Thursday the sixteenth of May, Patton's in Brighton, the seventeenth Oslo in London, the eighteenth the Wardrobe in Leeds, the nineteenth the Clooney Newcastle, the. 21st of May, Audio, Glasgow, 22nd, Rescue Rooms, Nottingham, 23rd, The Globe in Cardiff, 24th, Thecla in Bristol, 25th, The 1865 in Southampton, 26th, Mad Hatter's Festival in Seton, and also on the 13th of July, Alphabet Business Convention in Salisbury, which is always an, an amazing yeah, event, yeah. I believe. Yeah, I would love yeah. to go to that. Okay, can well, I, you're... Can I just interject just quickly? Just, yeah. uh, we, will, we will be playing on this tour a deep, immersive, exploratory and transformative set which means we'll be playing for a long time and um some of those gigs uh brighton london bristol and nottingham will be 10 o'clock curfew so get there early right good and call. the support will be edwin formerly of osric tentacles oh fabulous band, which okay fun. brilliant well like i say i've just loved it so far and i'm sure you won't disappoint now so uh, what's the last song you're going to do for us uh it's going to be called uh insert your prophecy Fabulous. Okay, gong are we live doing in this session. Now? We're not do- are we doing it now? You can do if you want. Oh, okay. If yeah. you're not ready for it, you can come back later. We're very flexible on this program. Uh, which we, uh, we could do it now, could we? Shall we? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's okay. do it. Okay. Uh, cool. Okay, let me just give you the first. E. The first chord is good. A. a. <laughs> right, okay. This is called Insert Your Own Prophecy.
myself in them Of all the bombs that should have tied me to this life The prophecy was Amazing, fabulous, all of those words do apply to Gong, and that was them live in session for the last time tonight, unless you listen to Gideon Cole's programme, and why wouldn't you? Uh, that was called Insert Your Own Prophecy. Uh, just brilliant. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, Thank and I won't, see, I won't see you in June, but uh, I will see you at some point in time for sure. But you that bet. was great. Lovely. Cheers, Cheers Thank you. Thank you.